hello guys hello hello welcome today to today's tutorial today's tutorial i'm going to be making a waist apron with embroidery this apron was um requested from a very um good client very nice beautiful client of mine and she requested personally to have this apron and she lives in Canada and she requested that she want to have an embroidery on it uh, she want to have her initial on it so that you know she want to make it more personal so if you want to have something like this it's very nice you can use it as a you can give it away as a gift or things like that so let me show you what we're going to be doing today okay so this is it so i'm going to um well i already cut out the fabric i'm just, it's just a kind of rectangle or piece that you're actually going to do so i actually um embroidered the name on it already as you can see embroidered the name and just a little bit of flower like this so this is it so let me show you I'm going to have a pocket. I'm going to have a pocket on me. So this is the pocket pieces that we're going to use. This is the pocket pieces. We're going to attach it here. And that's why I'm going to these strips that I'm going to use for it. So let me show you the measurement. Um, I will tell you the measurement that I use. With the measurement for this particular one, I actually use like um, um 66 cm. By twenty by twenty seven. Let me show you so that you can follow up. Okay, let me just put it like this so that you can see. So this is the inside of the embroidery. So you can see. So this is this measurement is actually um this is sixty. So this is see. So this is sixty six by. 60 by uh, 27 by 27 but then what happened is that I um, I fold in my I add the sewing allowances on it so that's what you can do you can actually make this um, longer and wider than you want so this is the top top side where you have the embroidery and so this is the pocket so let me show you the pocket the measurement of the pocket that i used actually it is um 66 i mean the same width the same sorry the same length of the the main apron which is 66 and i use um i use the same um no let me just see what i use i use for the main pocket like uh 20 and a half inches that is where the that is the metal cut of course i add sewing allowance on it so you can um decide what type of sewing allowance you're going to use on this actually and so i'm um i already get it iron when you when you're done with the measurement it's just very simple you're done with the measurement all we have to do is just to uh, fold it two times and iron it which i already did as you can see it's really very beautiful and i did the other one as well so it is really really very simple and quick project and this the the strips that i actually cut what i'm going to do with this project i i'll just sew it around you will see what i'm going to do later and so the measurement i actually use it is um two meters fifty five cm that is what i use so that is what i use and so for the fact that i didn't have enough um fabric that is so long like that so i cut into two and so i i'm going to join it together here so when i join it together there and then it will be long enough but you can make your strips as long as you want so depending on you actually you can then when you sew it on in in the middle then you will be able to uh, wrap it around your skull so it is whatever you prefer okay and so i went ahead and ironed the 
the sewing allowance, so this is how I'm going to do it to attach to the, to the skull. Okay, so that, that is it. So now, what else? That is it actually. So I, uh, I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I will sew it. And so one thing I want to, to show you guys, to tell you guys also is that when I finish sewing it, I'm going to actually use uh, decorative uh, stitches. As well as so in this case, I'm going to use a uh, white use white to sew it and at the end I'll use that white to actually uh, sew it through and have a decorative stitch so I will go to my sewing machine now and what you have to do is that the more you are sewing the more you iron your work and to really make it very very simple and fast so if you don't have sorry so if you don't have an embroidery machine that you can actually have your um, uh, your name or any motive you want to um, embroidery you can actually buy some embroidery uh, patches or any design you like you can just put it here just like that you can just there is one that have glue and there is one that actually you have to sew it just sew the patches and things like that so that is that so i am going to i say machine now and i'm going to sew all the all the pieces together and after that i will let you I'll be back and I'll show you this guys. But this one is the last project that we're going to, going to do. So I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, I'm back now. So I do want to show you guys what I did so far. So this is it. So this is the top and this is the bottom of it so i sew everything and top stitches you can see at least white uh, try to do it so that the top stitch can be really visible that's what i did so, so it's really very beautiful so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just sew the bottom so this i'm going to sew the pocket and the make apron together so I'm going to sew it there just just at the edge so after sewing that then I am going to uh, just fold it I will just fold it here so just fold it I want to make sure all the stitches are in so I will just fold it around like that that's what I'm going to do so I these the strips that I Done together and join it together like this. So I press it. So I'm going to um, attach it to the skirt later. So for now, I'm going to um, sew it together. Then I will do this area together. And then I will show you how I'm going to do the pockets. Right? So I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I am back again. So this is it. So I put the, the pockets. So what I'm going to show you guys is the way that I I'm going to sew my pocket. Let me just show you guys. Okay. So this is my pocket. So I actually divide into uh, into into one, two, three. But then, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do uh, about the, I'm going to make one pocket, like, I'm going to make one pocket through. So, with the pocket, actually, the measurement of the pocket that I did is 23 centimeter. If you want to, that is inclusive um, sewing allowance, because I'm going to fold it. Uh, what I'm going to do later, I'm going to overlock it because the fabric is quite thick. So I will overlock the edges and I'll just fold it once inside. So that's what I can do. But if your sewing machine, uh, I don't want to break my needle and things like that. So I'm going to do that like that. Okay. But then if uh, what you want to do, the actual pocket measurement is actually 20 actually 20 cm 20 cm so you can add 
extra allowance to it in order to fold it like this in. So when you fold it like this in, then you have exactly 20 cm. So that's it. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make this pocket half. I'm going to put uh, 10 cm. I'm making 10 cm. Okay. So from this marking, I'm going to put 10 cm there. Right? Here, I'll put 10 cm. So that's it. So I'm going to sew it now. I'll just make it straight with my ruler. Yeah. So when you are marking as well, what you need to do, make sure you have chalk that is actually easy to wipe out when you finish your work or when you wash it. So because you are not going to of course, what I already did here is that I already washed this fabric. So, and then it looks nice and uh, clean. Then I cut it actually. So, if you are allergic to fabric stuff, something like that, it is not perfect for you to wash it first. And also, if you are actually working with cutting fabric, you don't wash it to prevent shrinkage. So, your fabric can get shrink after you finish sewing so in order not to have that so when you're working 100% cutting and to have that you can wash it all right so this is what i'm going to do now so i am going to sew here sew here and here and then i will overlock these edges and i will sew it in and after that i will show you guys on how i'm going to fix my my back on it all right so i'll be right back guys Okay, guys, here it is. Okay, so I have sewn the pocket, as you can see. So I did the bottom, the corrective stitch, things like that. So now I'm going to show you how you can attach your your belt. So this is the area that I iron. So that is the area that is going to attach actually. So you can the middle of the apron is where you're going to attach the belt. So this is the middle of it. Mark it already. So this is the middle of the belt. So we just put it like this. So that's all we're going to do. So let me just do a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, in here, uh, one thing also I forget to tell you that is that when you, if you have embroidery machine and you want to embroider your project, make sure actually you cut your project bigger than you really wanted to use, so that when you do your, you should do your embroidery first and then you cut your, you cut your required pattern. But if you don't do that, your work will be really, really very, very short. You will have shrinkage. Because embroidery machine, you know, when you embroidery, the thread are all together. So it will kind of um, just, it's not stretchy, but just come together. So because of that, you need to have excess fabric before you cut out your project so that's like this so now i am going to sew it now and i will turn it like this so after sewing what i'm going to do as well after sewing this side i will then go ahead i will sew my strips so let me show you guys what i'm going to do so i will turn it like this first turn it like this first because i want it to or I just do like this, it's more simple. I'll just do it like this. If you guys can see what I'm doing. I just sew here, so so here, so then I will uh, sew all the way. Just sew it all the way. All the way to the end. 
then we're going to have a long, long tie. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. So I will sew it there throughout the way. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And then here as well, um, we will do the same thing here. Let's go like this. And then I will sew here and then after sewing that you just sew it together all the way. Sew it together. Right. Right. So you sew it together all the way, right? Just like that. Just like that. Okay. So, so we sew it all the way to this area. All right, the way to this area. So after that, then we then we turn the we turn the bed in and out, and then we will now do our skirt. So we now fold. Fold it, the skirt so alright. So then we don't fold it like this so right? then it will be like this. So then after that we will top stitch it all the way, right? So I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine now and sew it and I will show you guys how it looks like. And already you can see it has the shape already. So let's go now and sew our belt. I'll be right back guys. Hello guys. So here I go. So you can see I uh, I saw the strips run. So I saw it actually as I explained earlier. And then I turn it around and I just top stitch it back. I did. I top stitch it. So you can see they all have decorative uh, stitches. So let me just cut off the excess thread around here so that you can see. So it is done. So this project is just like a few hours project. If you don't have much time, you can just uh, do it like in the afternoon, something like that. So it's after the project. Because cutting and ironing and doing the preparation take time. So I just like this. So I am um, yeah. So that is how it goes. So it really looks beautiful. So what I did was that because this fabric is really thick fabric, so I overlock the edges. Then after overlocking, I just fold it. I sew it and I did top stitch. And I did both sides like that. The pocket, I sew the pocket and make sure that I uh, actually top stitch so really looks really looks gorgeous. I love it. So this apron you can use for like um, your gardening. I actually love it. If you can use it for like gardening, it is really very nice. And of course, you choose this what you would do with it. You can do with um um you can use it for your kitchen cooking or when you have um yeah waiters you can also use this because most of the time we use this type of um apron to actually uh, work in the restaurant so it's really very good i love it and i hope you guys will make yours and um yeah yeah that is what i can say it really looks good just so it's beautiful so that is it, it's very simple and so you guys can go ahead and practice. I will when I post this video I will put the measurement or the measurement that I use. We actually put it on the description box so that you guys can go ahead and draft yours. It's very simple, just write and go, sew it around and that's it. So I hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and enjoy it myself and I hope uh, this client will be very happy that I make it very well for her and also the uh, 
the embroidery is well, is well done. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I really do appreciate your comments and do subscribe. Thank you so much. And I wish um I wish you guys a very good day wherever you may be. Remember, practice makes perfect. If I can do it, you guys can do it as well. All right then. Bye.